Whether you're looking to monetize your experience, create a community, or offer exclusive content, a membership site is your ticket to a thriving online business. In this tutorial, I will guide you through each step, from setting up a hosting plan to designing a seamless user experience. So get ready and let's build your membership website together. Building a membership website might seem like a big task, but it doesn't have to be that difficult. So for this tutorial, we are going to use WordPress as our content management system. It's a popular choice for the task and it can handle small to large membership sites without a problem. So you can easily adjust it when you grow your user base. Plus, WordPress has a very supportive community. This means you'll find tons of forums, resources and tutorials, just like this video. All of that said, let's get to creating our website. But before we start building your website, let's plan it out first. Okay, so first we will have to choose a topic that will set the overall foundation for our goals. This will impact your site's design and content, the membership model, and even the way you market. So how do we decide on one? Well, first let's start with what you're good at or something that you love doing. So basically it's any subject that you can translate into engaging and authentic content. Remember, you will need to keep coming up with content ideas that are good enough to make people pay for them. So good knowledge on the subject matter will help you out in the long run. Once you've chosen a topic, research your target audience's interests. This will help you create content that meets their needs. Tools like Google Trends, BuzzSumo and Exploding Topics are great for learning about popular content trends. Check out forums and social media to get to know your audience better too. Then research your competitors to create an accurate strategy and make your site stand out. See what they do well and find the gaps that you can help fill with your own unique content and perspective. The next thing to decide on is what your membership content will be. It could be anything really, from in-depth courses, private forums and exclusive resources to serialized fiction. And finally, you have to choose a membership model. Your best choice will depend on a bunch of things, like what you're selling, your target audience and your competitors. As a rule of thumb, most sites tend to go with these models. So first you have the basic subscription model. This lets your visitors pay a recurring fee monthly or yearly to access exclusive content. Then there's also the tiered access option, which is like a subscription, but has various membership levels, which lets you access more perks with every higher tier. And if you're just selling a complete online course package or a digital library, you should probably go with the one-time payment. Whichever model you choose, consider giving away parts of your content for free too. This can entice people to sign up and let them know what to expect from a membership. So, okay, with all of that settled, let's get to making the website itself. Okay, so the three essential things you need for a website are a hosting plan, a domain name, and a content management system. Since we're using WordPress as our CMS, managed WordPress hosting will make the website creation process much, much easier. In fact, with Hostinger's managed WordPress hosting plan, you'll get a simple one-click WordPress installation, automatic updates, plenty of storage, and even an AI troubleshooter. Plus, the built-in performance optimization, daily backups, and unlimited SSL certificates will keep your site running in prime condition. So, let's purchase a plan by visiting the landing page I linked in the description below the video. I recommend choosing this business plan to unlock some great AI features that comes with it. Select the plan by adding it to the cart. To get the best deal, grab the 48 month subscription period, which comes with three months of free hosting and a free domain name for one year. Then proceed with creating a hosting account if you don't already have one and choosing a preferred payment method. Remember to apply the WP10 coupon code over here for an extra 10% discount on your purchase. Now complete the payment and you'll be taken to the initial onboarding page. Here, start by choosing your language and creating your new WordPress account login. You'll need it to access the site. So a quick tip, create a strong password for this and use a password manager to store it safely. Okay, then pick a website type you want. Let's select business and services this time. Next, choose to build the site with either a pre-built template or a standard theme. Going with a template will make things much more simple since you don't need to design the page from scratch. You can preview all of our available options by hovering over them and clicking preview. I'll select this one for our tutorial. Now for the next step, you can pre-install some plugins for your website. If you're not sure what to choose, you won't go wrong with the recommended ones over here like All-in-One SEO and Google Sidekit to boost your marketing efforts. You can always select the plugins you need later by skipping this step too. On the next page, you can use our integrated AI content creation tool to generate website copy for you just by entering your brand's name and describing your business or services. Feel free to skip this step if you'll be making your content from scratch. And here it's time to give your site an online address. You can claim your free domain name now or do it later by choosing a temporary domain. 
To create a custom domain, simply enter the name into the box to check if it's still available. If it is, click next to continue with the domain registration. If not, you'll need to choose a different one or just select a different extension from the ones offered in the list. In the next steps, you will fill in the fields with the required information to complete the domain name registration. Once that is all done, wait for the WordPress installation to finish. Then you'll be taken to your HPanel dashboard. This is where you can set up your website's technical configuration, but there's no need to worry about this now. You'll get a bunch of resources to help you out later. For now, let's just enter the WordPress admin panel by clicking this button. Once we're in the WordPress dashboard, we can start creating content and customizing the website's features, including the membership functionality. Let's go ahead and set it all up. To make your site exclusive, you will need to enable user registration first. To do that, go to settings and choose general. Scroll down to the membership section and check this box that says anyone can register. Once you're done, click here to save the changes. Now, we need to add other membership functionalities such as content restriction, user levels, and payment gateway integration to the site. While that sounds like a ton of work, we can actually use a plugin to make this job a lot easier. In fact, there are tons of membership plugins in the official directory such as MemberPress, Restrict Content Pro, or WooCommerce memberships. You can choose any one of them, but for this tutorial, I will go with Paid Member Subscriptions, which is one of the best freemium membership plugins out there. Let's head to the Plugins menu and click Add New. Here, just search for the plugin, then proceed to install and activate it. Once that's finished, you will find the plugins menu on the dashboard. If you want to complete the plugin setup wizard, you can go ahead, but for now, I will skip it. Let's jump right into the subscription plan creation. Go to the subscription plans menu to start designing your membership pricing plans. For this example, I will use three tiers, gold, silver, and bronze. First, click add new, then name the plan. Note that the first subscription plan you create will be considered as the parent plan. All other tiers you create should be upgrades or downgrades. You can create several parent plans if you want. This time, I'll make the gold plan. Fill in the plan details, choose the subscription type, and write the plan description that will be displayed on the registration page. Proceed with setting up the duration, price, and signing up price. Do note that this will be an extra charge for your customers besides the subscription charge. Since this is the highest pricing tier, I will make it zero. Let's set the free trial up to three days and choose how we will charge plan renewals for customers. I'll go with this option as it seems the most fair to the customers. Make sure the status is active and create a new user role for the plan. This way you can create multiple access restrictions for all of your benefits. And once everything is set up, hit save subscription. You'll see two new buttons here to help you create other subscription plans. So just repeat this process for all the pricing tiers you plan. Once that's done, you can see all of your new pricing plans on the list. Now that your customers can pay for your content, let's provide them with some payment options. Our install plugin integrates this configuration in its settings, so simply open the Payments tab to configure your preferred methods. First, scroll down to the Active Payment Gateway section. Then, just click on the toggle button to select the payment options that you want to provide. Now, select a default payment gateway that will be pre-selected for our members during checkout. Each payment gateway has its own set of configurations. To connect your account, complete the necessary steps and click Save Settings to finish. Just a couple more steps to go, and up next, we'll create our essential pages. When creating a membership website, you will definitely want to have pages for registration, login, account management, and pricing. The steps may vary depending on your chosen plugin. Our paid member subscription plugin wants us to create five pages as shown on the settings here. So, we'll need to create the pages before we can assign them. Feel free to design the pages as you like. You can even benefit from the short codes in the plugin's documentation. I'll be sure to link the page for them in the description below the video. So now, let's go to the Pages menu. As I chose a pre-built template earlier, several pages like this have already been created. I'll leave them as it is for now, so click Add New Page and give it a title. Then I'll remember to switch to Code Editor and paste the registration shortcode. After that, you can go back to the visual editor mode to add more text to the page. It will turn into a classic editor by default, so you'll only be able to add simple text and images. And if you need fresh copy ideas to display on the page, simply consult our AI assistant tool. Just write your request in the chat box and it will help you add fast and easy. I'll copy and paste the text here, then hide the page title from visitors. Then I'll finish by clicking publish and previewing the page to see the final look. And that's it! Now, repeat the process to create other necessary pages with the help of shortcodes. 
After that, go back to the plugin settings to connect them accordingly. And don't forget to click Save Settings afterward. As for your main web pages, feel free to keep the ones that you want from the template and tweak the content. You can always just delete any page that doesn't work for you. For instance, I'm keeping only the home, about us, and testimonial pages. You can now design the site's homepage while linking to the membership related pages accordingly. To edit the on page content, simply click Edit to open the page editor interface. Here you can add images, edit text, and more. Much like our assistant, our AI content creator can also help you with the copy. To access it, just click this hostinger menu from your WordPress dashboard. And if you want to tweak the site's design, including the header, footer, or widgets, go to Appearance and choose Customize. All right, with all of that done, it's finally time to post your content. Restricting access to pages or posts is super simple with this plugin. You'll find the settings for it in the WordPress standard editor. All you need to do is create a new post or page or edit an existing one. Write and design the post as usual, and you'll find this section at the bottom. Here you can select how you want to restrict access. Visitors who don't meet the access criteria won't be able to see the content. For instance, if I put it like this, only logged in gold members can access the content. You can also customize the warning message by enabling this toggle button over here. If you don't, it will show a default one instead. Remember the AI Assistant tool I mentioned earlier? You can make use of it again for some interesting ideas to put in the copy. This is also a great place to highlight the benefits of being a member and encourage signups, free trials, or membership upgrades. Once everything is set, go ahead and publish the post. Before you start promoting your site, make a few test transactions to ensure everything works, from the content restriction to the payment process. And when testing the site, make sure you're logged out from the WordPress admin area. Otherwise, it won't apply any content restrictions. If everything looks in order, you're good to go. And that's all there is to creating a membership website. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions and I'll be happy to answer them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more WordPress tutorials like this in the future. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.